Good morning, guys. It has been a pretty chill morning so far. <clears throat> I did my best and ate and did my Bible reading, and that's about all I've done besides just kind of lay around, talk to my sister for a little bit, but that was about it. Today's kind of my day of not doing much. Um, well, I guess tomorrow kind of turned into that. Tomorrow we were going to uh, Walmart, but we're going to do everything on Tuesday when we're going to go see Spider-Man, which I cannot wait. Um, so I guess tomorrow's kind of a rest day as well, but yeah, today's the day of being lazy pretty much until I go to the horses later tonight and do some more work with Blondie. <coughs> I am excited for tomorrow because I'm going to, one, order seven books. I love reading. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love reading. And so I'm going to order this one book that's about this, like, dog that got lost in Yellowstone. It's a true story. And then I'm going to order this first six of the Warrior series. So I read the Survivor series all the way through, all 12 books, and I loved it. So I'm going to give the Warrior series a chance and read the first six of those and see if I like it as much. And if so, I'll probably read that whole series as well, which I think there's a lot more than 12 books on that one. Um, <coughs> And I'm also going to put a down payment on our cruise. I know we just got off a cruise, but um, I literally told you guys when I was on the boat that I wanted to start saving for another cruise. And so, <coughs> <coughs> this one was kind of a girl's trip. It was me, my mom, my sister, and her husband. Um, husband not included in the girl's part, but you know what I mean. But I haven't cruised with my dad and my brother and the rest of my family, like, you know whole family in since my make-a-wish in 20, 2009 um, so me and my dad found a cruise for next September so September of 2020 that we want to go on and I'm gonna put the down payment on it tomorrow and I'm so excited it's still over a year away but I'm so excited because hey last time I had to wait three years between my cr my cruise on the dream and the conquest just a couple weeks ago and this time we're gonna go on the carnival magic and it'll be in just a little over a year so i'm very excited to put that down tomorrow so tomorrow's exciting but today is just chilling out probably going to read some of my ruffian book um and just hang out until it's time to go to the horses tonight this is not the quiet night at the barn i was anticipating uh donk and denali got out of their their pasture somehow and now they're like up like that they're uh, fighting with Matt and Blaze. Well, don't, don't, or I don't know which is which at this point, but there's nothing I can do. I'm not going to go in between three fighting stallions, and he's not home. Uh, his wife is, and I think she was going to call him. But at this point, I'm just sitting here praying that they don't break a leg or something because Blaze has gone over the fence twice. <coughs> They're calmer than they were, so hopefully it'll be okay. This is a new one. I've dealt with colic. I've dealt with lameness. I've dealt with the horse getting out. I haven't dealt with this, and I'm not about to. I'm not about to get between them. It's just pure stupidity. I'm not going to get injured over it, so I'm just waiting. I'm not even, like, kind of in between the two pastures, because the girls are fine, but they're kind of, like, moving around a lot, and so, case in point, they're just fancy, so I don't want to I don't really want to stand out there either and get in the middle of all that. So, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just going to stand here. And I don't know what to do, but I don't even know how they got through the fence. I really don't because they're not supposed to be out here at all. They're supposed to be all the way over there in that pasture. So, I don't know what went wrong there. Okay, he left to go graze, so hopefully they're gonna leave each other alone now. So I don't exactly know what to do, but oh gosh, don't go back over there, please don't. This is stressful. Just to give you guys an idea, I've been coming down here for over three years and this has never happened. But I just decided to put distance on it. I got away from the fence. I'm sitting under a tree. And there's nothing else I can do at the moment. I don't really want to go home, but my main priority at the moment is keeping myself safe from raging hormone horses and unruly mares. So that's what I'm going to do. 
Okay, everything seems to be under control for the moment. They're still loose, but they're over there. They moved up this way, so. For now, there's peace, and thankfully nobody got hurt. But, that scared me. Hi, Maxine. You're just an innocent bystander in all this. She's just been standing there with a confused look on her face. All is well again. They got corralled up. And they're back in their pasture. I'm actually uh, having some moments with. Hang on, I'm gonna the snowball here. She's the one that wouldn't trust me last time. She's one of the rescues. And uh, she's really starting to finally open up to me after, I guess, February was the first time I saw her. Star and Brown Beauty, they already. I mean, they already are fine with me, but <clears throat> it took her a while. <coughs> She's finally, finally realizing that I'm not going to hurt her. She doesn't have to be afraid of me. I can't blame her. I don't know what she went through before she came here, so he can't blame her, but I'm glad she's finally getting comfortable with me. Well, I wasn't sure if I was going to get any training with Blondie and due to the circumstances earlier, but I did just manage to squeeze in about five minutes. We didn't do a whole lot. A little more than yesterday. That was about it. But she did good. So I was happy I at least got to get that in. Because um, <clears throat> I probably won't be here Tuesday. <clears throat> so, that was good. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my vlog while I'm out here. I'm going to be heading home rather soon. Because it's so it's 7.30, and I still need to take care of Princess. Um, and I'm covered in sweat because it's just one of those days. Hi, Chip. I know you thought I was after you with the halter, didn't you? I wasn't. Surprise, surprise. Um, yeah, it's been really hot, so I'm covered in sweat. So when I get home, what can I help you? I'm going to just uh, immediately jump in the shower, pretty much. <coughs> and uh, do my treatment and eat dinner and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's vlog here. But... All's well that ends well, and it ended up being kind of just first 20 minutes or so another relaxing night here at the barn. So, yeah, I'm gonna hang out probably for like 20 more minutes and head home. So, with that, <clears throat> thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Good night.